Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on our test account in the patches here, which means we are gonna have our new hero. Now, I don't remember a time that we had as much speculation on a hero. Is it one hero? Is it two heroes? Is it gonna be a dimensional? Is it not a dimensional? But looking here, it is one hero. So this is Adrian, and that's how I pronounce it, and Elise. So it's not Adriana, it is Adrian and Elise. You can see the dancers, or the dance of endurance. So let's run through these skills and abilities. Now, interesting enough, it is a control hero that is a warrior. So again, a lot of players speculating it was gonna be support, um, similar to what we see the, with the twins, but overall, it is a warrior. So interesting that it is going to be a damage dealer. And look at the amount of text in here, guys. So during battle, Adrian and Elise, I'm just gonna call them dancers, continuous across, dance continuously across the battlefield, moving towards the enemy, nearest to the edge of the allied battlefield and prioritizing targeting enemy heroes upon moving closer to a target she twirls to attack dealing damage equal to 200 percent of the attack rating knocking the target back to the edge of the enemy battlefield if the target is knocked back they will also be stunned so now we have a little bit of damage we have a knockback which is going to be cool so keeping them locked onto that enemy side while adrian and elise are moving they will use normal attacks every five seconds which again, I'm thinking of Althus, um, the wilder tank that can amplify that normal attack damage, a uh, damage equal to 150% of the attack rating nearby enemies. Active, facing the enemy battlefield, lifts Elise up to an attack and elegant arc, dealing damage equal to 300% of the attack rating to all enemies and knocking them back to the edge of the battlefield. If a target is knocked back successfully, they will also be stunned. So I'm not sure if that just hits all enemies dealing damage equal to 300 percent of attack rating to all enemies and knocking them back so if they're crowd controlling everything that's going to be kind of crazy upon moving close to the target she um adrian twirls elise to attack dealing increased damage equal to 300 percent when a target is knocked back successfully the duration of the stun is increased based on the distance the target has been knocked back up to a maximum of three seconds but i think the stun was already three seconds so I think that might be a total of a six second stun in there because if it's already three seconds with that ability up to a max of three seconds based on distance, that is a six second stun by my math. A graceful shield. When um, Adrian twirls Elise to attack, the nearest allied hero gains a shield. And I don't like that they do that. I want a damage heat dealer. I want a warrior. The shield expires. Um, it gets converted into health value. The shield goes to 350. On performing a twirl attack, they also gain a shield. So we know the twirl attack was right down here. Um, or no, that was the arc. We have to see where the twirl attack is, but there's going to be a shield aspect in there. Now the quivering blade. For enemies that are immune to control effects or cannot be knocked back, twirling attack and lift attacks will wound them instead, causing the enemy to lose health. So it's kind of like a damage over time. 150% for five seconds. Then it goes to 260% of their attack rating. The enemy is wounded whether they are knocked back or not. That's cool. So you can give them a knockback. They can have um, be stunned back there while they're essentially bleeding, unsuccessfully knocking an enemy back to the edge of the battlefield. Their haste is increased by 15% and their movement speed by 15%. For six seconds, this can stack three times. It seems like we're going to have to have these heroes live. That's going to be the big thing um, in here especially because of their movement speed. If they're pushing everyone back and they're moving with it, we're going to have to see. And then spiritual healing, on taking fatal damage, they avoid death for some time. And the spirit contained in Elise's dancing marionette will heal Adrian at least five seconds. During this time, the spirit remain, uh, remains drive. Remaining drive will be converted into health. 90% of the max health after the duration, they regain their health and continue battling. Every time they suffer 2% of a health loss, they will be healed. Healing duration will be reduced by 0.1 second. This effect can be used two times per battle. So they can take fatal damage twice and still be alive. And look at that. The 60 engraving, they can die three times. So very similar to a Lucila. Um, once they die, they're not really going to die, which could be good or bad, um, depending on how fast they do get burst down. Every time they suffer damage or health loss, 4% of the max health is going to be reduced, so making that heal go on there further. During healing, enemies in the back line of the battlefield will be unable to inflict damage or health loss 
on Adrian and Elise. So very, very cool build. Light Bears did need it for the tower. Let's look at the signature item. So, and I believe this is, um, no, it's not built in here. I, I was thinking for some reason it's built in here, but that's with uh, Awakened Heroes. Um, Adrian and Elise deal 20% more damage to enemies in the back line of the battlefield. That is awesome. After dealing damage to enemies in the back line, the erosion is increased by 40 points. So just thinking of collections of erosion is going to make a big difference on here. Adrian and Elise deal 60% more damage to enemies in the back line. In fact, also applied to allied heroes in the back line of the enemy battlefield. Um, this effect applies to all allied heroes. I'm wondering because that more damage is what they're talking about. I wonder if we can expand it a little. No, that is the expanded version. So after feeling, dealing damage to enemies in the back, I think it is the erosion. Because this effect also applies to allied heroes in the back line of the enemy field. Maybe I'm missing it. I'm going to have to think about that one. Because they deal 20% more damage to enemies in the back line of the battlefield. Maybe just that applies to everybody, meaning not just them that are doing 20% more damage. And I'm almost, even here, they deal 60% more damage to the back line. This effect applies to allied heroes in the back line for the enemy. This effect applies to all allied heroes. That's going to be broken if they're giving them a 60% more damage to enemies in the back line. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. See, I was reading it. I'm like, I don't think that can be right because that's a massive damage boost. Uh, during battle, Adrian and Elise gain 50 energy every one second. What? They're during battle, they gain 50 points of tenacity. So we're giving them erosion. We're giving them tenacity. We're giving them energy every one second. They're gaining 50 energy. You're not even stacking on collections. You're not even stacking on literally anything else that we have to put onto these heroes. Let's see exactly what they look like. There we go. So they are together. I love that. There's the knockback. But here comes the alt. Boom. And yeah, they push everybody back to the back of the field. So even here where they're in the allied half, Wow, and it did crowd control all of them. So literally, look at that. It is throwing them right back. Yeah, that is pretty cool overall. Let's see them in battle. And I'm wondering, um, just front line, who else do we have in here? Damage-wise, I'm, I'm a little iffy about where the, uh, where the damage is going to come in here. You know what, let's, thinking let's do Iran in here. Now look, Kren, and of course, with everybody being pushed to the back, that's going to be pretty big. I just want to see kind of how they're doing. They pulled everyone together. But look, there's the pushback right into the bombs. This could almost bring Kren back if the damage is there. Let me, oh, we didn't get the damage. Let me take a look at it one more time. If you go out, this actually does come back. And I want to see, let me just run them. I'm just kind of curious how fast we're going to see them die. There was the first cheat death. There's the, and look, all of it. The whole team being pushed back. That is awesome. Let's add one more in here. And of course, Lucila is going to be the cheat death as well. Look at that pushback. And if they take fatal damage, they, they heal up. Wow, that is pretty cool. That is a pretty cool ability. Yeah, 9.64. So doing a lot more damage than Lucila, and that's kind of what I want to see. Um, there's their healing, which again... We're going to have to see exactly how well this hero works, but pretty interesting, especially with that signature item. But all right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.